Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrinceandTrader.com, here with your Tuesday market webcast. Okay, so we've had consolidation, the massive band ride down that, you know, it was down we, yesterday morning. Uh, it sealed off that 88 area, and we went into it, and we sold the open. And what I said at the time was, look, you know, if, if it's a hold my beer day, like here, you know, hey, mom watch this kind of a thing, then it was just going to go down. It really wasn't going to do a whole heck of a lot to the upside. And that's that's basically the way it played out. It just it just kind of stared down, just stares down the entire day. And what I mentioned at the close was there really wasn't at any particular time an ounce of panic selling at all during yesterday's session. It really wasn't. And that didn't start until um, they opened it up last night and then you really saw that hard move, and you know they did as low as 75 and change, and you know they the trap door opened on that one. Um, but the funny thing about third standard deviation bands is you you can only get so far away from them before you're going to get that face ripper. So um, we did very well on the way down. Um, I tried to catch along a couple of times, and then I mean I went to bed, so I missed the the, the bulk of this bounce. Uh, but it's been, you know, we're, we're sitting at a hundred and something handles to start the week. It's Tuesday morning. So it's very, it's a very first world problem for us to be concerned about, you know, sleeping through, you know, a, a 30 or 40 handle move, 30 and 40 handle moves are going to come in this tape. They're going to come in bunches. They're going to come in chunks. You're going to catch some, you're not going to catch some. What you can't do is be on the other side of one, which is why we still use five handle disaster stops every single time, no matter the volatility. And the nice part for us in the room is, you know, the volatility increases, but our risk is static. So actually it's less risky for us to trade in these environments. So it's, um, you know, we haven't taken one yet, knock on wood. But um, so where we are this morning is I'm flat right now. I'm flat, I'm watching. And this morning's webcast is gonna be uh, on, uh, we're gonna talk about channel days, okay? what I like to call channel days in my world, okay? So, consolidation, expansion, okay? Blows through the second deviation lower band, rides it, blows past the third standard deviation band. You see the second standard deviation band up there at 28.75. That, in most cases, will act as resistance for the day, okay? And it will. what will happen is today, probably tomorrow, it will hang out in this channel. It will bump along in between the two lower bands, and it'll that will we'll work on that kind of a range. Then eventually, what's going to happen here is these band this band is going to keep expanding. Price will get back inside the bands, as it, either as a function of time or as a function of price. You can see now from where we were here on the bandwidth. I'm down here at the bottom. It's gone from about two last week when we were talking about consolidation. Now that bandwidth. Is, is up around seven and change. No, no it's, it's seven. Um, that's the expansion part. So this has to play out. We talked about it testing the 200 day yesterday. It did, it blew way by it, but I think it got a little bit too far out of the lane. Doesn't mean we are done going down. Doesn't mean we are done going down. That's really more up to the bears than it is to the bulls. Um, you know, in these bearish tapes, big face rippers are going to happen. The issue becomes, what do the bears do after the face ripper? Do they fight back? Do they make another lower low? Or are they going to lay down? After Christmas, they laid down. It was great. We went all the way back up. So we'll see what happens here. It's way too early to tell what this is. Anything beyond, you know, really a big face ripper bear market relief rally that you've got to respect and from the, if you're sitting here itching to short, you got to be careful because you don't want to be early, okay? But if, if, if this edges up towards the second standard deviation lower band and you see some resistance there, that's a spot that, that you at least can, can grab on to some risk. Um, what, I, what I would not mind is some kind of a viable dip here and then I wouldn't mind being long up to 75 um, and hold it beyond 75 if it's going to go. And if not, then we'll figure out a way to to get short again. Hourly chart. Well, there's your pre-FOMC price. Failed it. 
weekly pivot, boom, 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 down. And you know, this was very orderly yesterday. Look at your, look at your, these are hourly candles. It's very orderly. Not until you get into this, you know, they took, they took a quick um, 50, 60 out of that tape real fast. Um, and then they've gradually taken it up ever since. So here's your daily pivot, uh, 2859, 2860 call it. Um, I'll be interested to see what happens here. And like I said, I'll be interested to see what happens at 75. So mind your risk. You have got to use stops in this market. If you can't trade with a hard stop, disaster stop type thing in this market, then don't trade the market. Okay. Um, don't worry too much about entries. What I have always said, what I always say to my subscribers is volatility like this pretty much wipes away the sins of marginally bad entries. You know, if, if, if you know, like yesterday, we got short 48 before the close. And, you know, it ended up being a 32 handle trade for us. We got a 48, we had a 60 handle runner, right? Well, what if I got 45 instead of 48? In this kind of environment, who cares? You know, in a, in a tight, consolidation environment, that entry would be death. But don't get hung up on entries. Make responsible entries, good entries. Use, use disaster shops to fix your risk. But if, you know, a, a marginally okay entry versus a great entry is not going to kill you. If you want to learn more about that, come on in and check us out. Take care. Trade them well. Talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook. And join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade